I just finished building this Lego set, but what are those? No, not those, those. Well, they are extra pieces, and in this video we will be exploring different things you can build with these tiny pieces. And I'll be uncovering why this can be an extra piece, but not this. But if this is your extra piece, you probably skip this step. First up, you can use the various extra printed pieces to make control panels for a computer. You can also stack a bunch of studs on top of each other and then put a fire extinguisher top to create a lantern for a Japanese one. In this same mock, I use a nano figure to create a statue on a pedestal. Next, you can build a staff using the lightsaber hilt and the three long bars. Speaking of lightsabers, I used to create huge ones with the extra spring-loaded shoes as well as the extra lightsaber hilts. You underestimate the length of my lightsaber. Lego sets often include a lot of spare hoses, technic pins, stud with holes in them that you can use to build weapons for your Mandalorians. Speaking of Mandalorians, you can use the extra dark saber blade to build a double sided one, or a completely new one since they always include an extra hilt. You can also use cheese slopes, tiles, plates, and studs to detail your latest mod. So let's see how many extra pieces I was able to sneak in my latest mock, the V-Wing. So I have some 1x1 one one tiles here that are curved, then the Republic Insignia which is from a Lego set from 2014, then another tile here which is an extra piece, a tile in the back with the Republic backpack from a battle pack, then in the cockpit there's this 1x2 curved tile, and then another control panel and a circular tile. On the sides for the guns, I also used some 1x1 one one studs with holes in them. So that's a total of 13 extra pieces. If you take a tile with a bar and a stud with a hole in it, you can create a teacup, which is the exact design used in the Monastery of Spinjitsu. There are also neck accessories that you can give to minifigures that need a little extra style. Or you can add the occasional head accessory that will make your minifigures look like devils. Lego sets often include extra studs and Technic lift arms that you can connect to make a teacup or a pot. You can also use roller skate pieces and attach a tile to create a toy car. When Darth Vader is included in Lego Star Wars sets, they always provide an extra breathing device that you can place upside down on a Death Trooper's neck to create a pauldron. Old Lego friend sets also used to include extra hair accessories that can fit perfectly into clone helmet holes. So you know what that means. Screw the helmet hole haters because now we can give clone troopers the Lego Friends drip. Also, since the Lego Friends accessories have pins, they can connect to flower pieces or modified 1x1 one one tiles, which means that minifigures can now hold them. You can also add them to various other- wait 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 wait, this was not part of the script. Lego cars are really not up to standard. First of all, they don't have any seat belts, and secondly, they don't have any windshield wipers to wipe out all the rain. So Lego minifigures have Help no me. visibility when it's pouring, but we can solve this problem by adding levers that act as windshield wipers. Or you could add two Lego wand pieces attached to clips. And since Lego cars don't have seatbelts, we can make a Lego seatbelt by using the string piece which is often found as an extra piece. You always want safety first for your Lego minifigures. With the various extra 1x1s, one one, you can create some art, but I'm not very good at it. We'll just call it modern art and it'll sell for a couple million. With the extra forbidden spinjitsu scrolls, you can make another forbidden spinjitsu scroll, or you can make a pirate flag for a ship. There's also this Batman 1x1 one one print that can be used to make a bat button from the Lego Batman movie. And then there are these trigger pieces which are pretty much useless outside of being stud shooter triggers. Or so I thought. You see, these pieces can actually be used as little pebbles or rocks in your mocks, which I've already used in a previous mock. This technique is similar to how mock builders use studs and tiles freely without connecting them to make pathways and water. If you have a bunch of extra stud connecting Technic pins, you can add them to the end of your blaster. In particular, the short blaster, since there are new extra pieces that are included in LEGO Star Wars sets. You can also put a clone rangefinder on a modified 1x1 one one tile to create a vintage music player. With this same subassembly, you can make a door handle. Or you can just use a stud or a tile. Speaking of studs, if you add a stud to the end of a binocular piece, you can attach it to a Battle Droids Bash, Roger, which Roger. is the exact design used in 2010 for the Rocket Droids. And if we take this exact same design, we can add it to a bracket piece to put it on a minifigure. Speaking of binoculars, you can use a binocular piece to build a wally looking minifigure by using a roller skate piece then a stud with a bar on it with a battle droid arm, then another one of those, and then a stud, and then the binocular piece. All right, little buddy, it's time to save the world again. If you take the whip piece, which is a less common extra piece, you can add it to a stud in a hole, then a transparent stud, then add some clips with a lightsaber blade and battle droid arms to create a monster that kind of looks like the one that was in A New Hope. I kind of based the design off the one that was used in the LEGO Death Star. 
With extra pieces, you can solve a problem with the Lego Nia minifigure. You see, in the Lego Ninjago Legacy sets, they give her a spear, but in the show, she has a trident-looking weapon. So we can construct that using this lightsaber hilt, a stud in a hole, this dagger piece, another stud in a hole, and a harpoon. It's lore accurate. On the topic of Ninjago, in Season 9, they used to always include this Dragon Blade, so if you attach a lightsaber hilt to it, you got another one. You can also build a cool axe. All you have to do is attach a three long bar to a lightsaber hilt, and then place a hose or pistol, a stud with a hole in it, and then a skate. Here's a cool flamethrower design that you can build by attaching a hose to a stud with a stud in a hole, with another stud, a lightsaber hilt, and another stud with a hole, with a candle flame. You can also modify this flamethrower by adding this string piece, which is sometimes an extra piece in LEGO sets. Just make sure that your minifigure has a backpack so you can attach the string to. With this flamethrower, you can commit some more crap. You can burn that subscribe button away. Okay, that was a little bit cringe. But you might be asking yourself how I know what an extra piece is and what LEGO pieces are extra pieces. Well, the short answer is that there's this website called Bricklink that shows the extra pieces of every LEGO set. But that still doesn't explain why LEGO sets have extra pieces. Now, I thought they included them just in case you lost one of the small LEGO parts. But it turns out I was wrong. You see, when LEGO packages their sets, they have a machine that weighs the amount of parts needed for each set. This is much more convenient than counting each piece as there could be a counting error. However, by weighing them, they can also miss out on small parts because of their light weight. So, as a precaution, they include one extra of the lighter elements per set. I weighed some of the most common extra pieces and found that most parts were under 0.25 grams. Anything above it is normally not an extra piece. However, there are some pieces like the clone helmet accessories or the Harry Potter ones that always come in packs. So if a set doesn't use all the parts in the pack, you end up with a few extra bonuses. However, there are some exceptions, like with the spring-loaded shooters. These obviously weigh more than 0.25 grams, being around the max weight for an extra part. So they are indeed included in case you lose one because they are prone to get lost. There are also some pieces like the antenna that weigh a lot but are sometimes still included as extra pieces because of the high likelihood that they break. And the most obvious scenario to have a lot of extra pieces would be if you built an alternate build in a 3-in-1 set. At this point, you're pretty familiar with how extra pieces work. But did you know that LEGO sets can have extra stickers? For example, in the Gamers Market set from 2020, they include many stickers, but there's a small section on the sheet that's not used in the set. This is so that kids can choose where they want to put these stickers. In this Turtle Van set, there are 12 extra stickers, which are shown with this little plus icon on the sticker sheet. Same with the Space Bus set, this other dream set, this mini car dream set, this tree house, the extra stickers really fit the dreams theme, since the whole point is to use your imagination to build and choose what you want. And then there are alternate stickers, which were seen on the 2008 Republic Attack gunship and the dropship in ATOT7 2009, which gave builders an option of side panel stickers. You can burn that subscribe button away. <laughs>